সো হি সোলনেস বিনাশক নিঃসিংহ মহারাজ উনি উনিশশো একাত্তর সালে ইসকন আন্দোলনে যোগদান করেন এবং উনি কিছুদিন পরেই শিলা প্রভুপাদের থেকে পরিণাম দীক্ষা লাভ করেন উনি এবং ভক্তিবিঘ্ন বিনাশক মহারাজের বোন এবং আমাদের শিলা শুভ স্বামী গুরু মহারাজ তিনজন একসাথে দীক্ষা প্রাপ্ত হন তার এক বছর পরে উনিশশো বাহাত্তর সালে মহারাজ দ্বিতীয় ব্রাহ্মণ দীক্ষা প্রাপ্ত হন এবং তারপর থেকে মহারাজ বিভিন্ন সময় এই এশিয়ার বিভিন্ন দেশ থাইল্যান্ড মালয়েশিয়া চায়না ফিলিপিন্স এরকম বিভিন্ন জায়গায় উনি প্রচার করতে থাকেন এবং উনিশশো চুরানব্বই সালে উনি এই সন্ন্যাস আশ্রম গ্রহণ করেন উনি আজকে আমাদের ইসকনের একজন অন্যতম দীক্ষাগুরু এবং ওনার অনেক শিষ্য চায়না সিঙ্গাপুর থাইল্যান্ড এরকম বিভিন্ন দেশে এবং ভারতবর্ষে ছড়িয়ে আছে তো আমরা আজকে সত্যি অত্যন্ত ভাগ্যবান যে উনি মহারাজ যিনি এবং প্রত্যেক বছর উনি মায়াপুর ইনস্টিটিউটে আসেন এবং অনেক আমাদের যে ভক্তি শাস্ত্রী ভক্তি বিভক ক্লাস হয় উনি সেই প্রথম থেকে মায়াপুর ইনস্টিটিউট যখন শুরু হয়েছে উনিশশো আটানব্বই সাল থেকে তখন থেকে উনি আমাদের সাথে ক্লাস দিচ্ছেন তো আমরা অত্যন্ত ভাগ্যবান যে আজকে আমরা সেটা ভক্তিবিঘ্ন বিনাশক নিঃসিংহ মহারাজ গুরু মহারাজের আমরা সান্নিধিত পেয়েছি তো আমরা সকলে মহারাজের কাছ থেকে এখন কথা শুনব থ্যাংক ইউ মহারাজ ওয়ান সেকেন্ড ওয়েলকাম টু আওয়ার প্রোগ্রাম শ্রীগুরবে নম নম বিষ্ণুপদা কৃষ্ণপৃষ্ঠা ভূতলে শ্রীমতিভক্তিবেদস্বামী নমস্তে সরস্বতী দেবী ঘোরবাণী প্রচারিণে নির্বিশেষশূন্যবারী পশ্চাচ্যদেশিণে প্রভু নিত্যানন্দ শ্রীদ্বৈত গধার শ্রীবাসরে গোর ভক্তবৃন্দ হরে কৃষ্ণ হরে কৃষ্ণ 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 হরে 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 রাম হরে রাম 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 হরে হরে সো টুডে ইজ দ্য ডে অফ দ্য রিটার্ন রাথ यात्रा আই থিং দিস ইজ লাইক দ্য দ্য লাস্ট ডে অফ দ্য রাথ यात्रा ফেস্টিভাল রাইট উই আর ব্রিংগিং দ্য ডি উই হ্যাভ টু ব্রিং দ্য ডিটিস ব্যাক फ्रॉम গুন্ডিচা এন্ড ব্রিং देम টু নীলাচল আরেক নাম হচ্ছে সুন্দরাচল এবং আজকে জগন্নাথ বলদেব শুভদা সুন্দরাচল থেকে নীলাচলে ফেরত আসছে So the Lord has gone to Gundicha. Gundicha is like Vrindavan. It's like the Lord's home. So he'd gone back home to visit the old friends and be with their family. Now coming back. Gundicha was in the house of Vrindavan. So the Bhagavan had gone to the house of Vrindavan. He had gone to the house of Vrindavan. He had gone to the house of Vrindavan. Of course, uh, after a few days, after the Lord first left, when, he, when, when the Lord first left Nila Chau, he was telling, I'm coming back tomorrow, I'll be back the next day. But so he didn't come back right away. So the goddess of fortune got worried, what's going on? Where's my husband? So, when the Lord first left Nila Chau, he said, I'm going to go back the next day. But he said, I'm going to go back the next day. But he said, I'm going to go back the next day. So, after a few days, you have the Hera Panchami festival, 
where the goddess of fortune comes out of the temple and she's in an angry mood and she's going there to Gundicha to arrest the servants of Lord Jagannath. So Lord Chaitanya enjoyed very much watching these pastimes of the Lord every year and there's beautiful descriptions in the Chaitanya Charitamrita of the discussions which took place between the devotees. Swarup Damodar Goswami was very expert, very knowledgeable and he would describe everything about these pastimes and there's nice discussions they have there where Swarup Damodar is discussing with Shri, uh, Srivas Thakur because Srivas Thakur is empowered with the mood of Lord Narada Muni and Narada Muni is a Vaikuntha man. So when Srivas Thakur sees the goddess of fortune, he's very impressed. He thinks, oh wonderful, look at the goddess of fortune, she is so opulent. So, uh, the goddess of fortune had in her angry mood, she come there, but she come there in a a little different mood from you, an angry woman. Usually when the woman is angry, then they take off their jewelry and they don't look very nice and they don't dress, they dress in their old clothes and they're very, very miserable and a very angry mood. And this was like Satyabhama and the gopis, when they would get angry, they would do like that. <laughs> So, the goddess of fortune, she was different. She came out in an angry mood, but she's dressed with all her jewelry and so much jewelry and very fine clothes and everything. But she's in the angry mood. And I says, it's very unusual, you know, what kind of mood is this that she's angry but she's like this? <laughs> And then Srivas uh, Thakur, he's very impressed. He said, oh, look at the opulence of my goddess of fortune. Because they went there to Gundicha and she, they got the servants of Lord Jagannath and they got them to bow down to the goddess of fortune and they make jokes about them and ridicule them. And Srivas Thakur saying, whoa, look at the opulence of the goddess of fortune. She is so wonderful, so powerful. <laughs> So, 
তাদেরকে সব ধরে ধরপাকর করে নিয়ে যাচ্ছেন তাহলে তার কত শক্তি তার কত ঐশ্বর্য এটা সত্যি খুব অতি আশ্চর্য ব্যাপার দেখে তারা বারবার এটা দাবি করছিল and then Swarup Damodar Goswami, he's there and he's tell, he's, he turns to Srivas Thakur and he says, Oh, come on, Srivas, you know, look, you don't know the opulence of Vrindavan. You don't see the opulence of Vrindavan. In Vrindavan, every tree is a Kalpabriksha tree and every cow is a Kamadenu cow and all the dust of the dam is Chintamani. And then Swarup Damodar tells him how, he said, even though it's so opulent, the people in Vrindavan are so pure that they don't want anything from the trees. They could get anything they wanted, but all they want is some fruit and flowers to offer to the Lord. And the Kamadenu cows can produce anything, but all they want is some milk which they can cook and offer to the Lord. <laughs> And in that Vrindavan, every step, every word is a song, every step is a dance. All the water is nectar. Everything is just so sublime. And then Lord Chaitanya also questions Swarup Damodar and encourages Swarup Damodar to describe the different angry moods of the different devotees. So at that time, Swarup Damodar describes how there's right wing gopis and left wing gopis. And the right wing gopis, they, get, they can get very angry. But the left wing gopis, they're very humble. So which one gets more angry? The, the right wing gopis get angry. They're the ones who get angry. And so Radharani actually, she's the right wing gopi, you know. And her anger, when she gets angry, she looks even more beautiful than she does. So in this way, Lord Krishna enjoys her angry mood and he sees her looking even more attractive than she looks normally. So, Lord Jagannath had been staying there in Vrindavan for seven days, eight days. Now he's coming back, moving back to Dwarka. Actually, Nilachala is like Dwarka. Gundicha is like Vrindavan. Nilachala is like Dwarka. So, the Lord's coming back to Dwarka. So, if I in Chaitanya Charitamrita it said, Lord Krishna is perfect in Dwarka. He's more perfect in Mathura and he's most perfect in Vrindavan. So, 
So Lord Krishna enjoys his pastimes with these devotees there in Vrindavan, but he has to go back to Dwarka. He has to continue being the, the his family, all of his wives and everything, they're all there in Dwarka. And Srila Prabhupada told us how, he said that Kurukshetra, he said it's Kurukshetra which is the original place of Ratiyatra. The first Ratiyatra took place there at Kurukshetra. In Prabhupada's time, somebody was going to give land there in Kurukshetra. Never happened, but Prabhupada was eager to get the land. He said, Kurukshetra is an important holy place. He said, it's famous for two things. One was the speaking of the Bhagavad Gita, and the other thing is for Ratiatra. Kurukshetra was the only place outside of Vrindavan where Radharani met with Krishna. But when, when Radharani and the gopis met Krishna there at Kurukshetra, they were, not, they were not much satisfied. They thought, what, what's this? The, what, this Krishna is changed. He's not like he was before. Before we knew him in, in Vrindavan, he was a cowherd boy. And he had the flute, he played the flute, and he had a peacock feather in his hair. Now he's come, he's a prince, and he's got this royal dress on. It's not the same. So go, the gopis thought, we want to bring Krishna back to Vrindavan. We don't want this Krishna at Kurukshetra. So Ratiyatra is performed in that mood, the mood of bringing Lord Krishna back to Vrindavan. Of course, Krishna never leaves Vrindavan, but still we're performing the Rathiyatra with the mood of bringing Krishna back to Vrindavan. So we say Krishna is always in Vrindavan, but sometimes he's Prakat, then usually he's aprakat. When he's aprakat, he's hidden in the hearts of the gopis. But he's always there in Vrindavan. So in Iskon, we always enjoy the Ratiyatra festival because it's a very wonderful opportunity for all the devotees to come together and participate in chanting and dancing, which is such an important activity in the Kali Yuga. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took great pleasure in taking part in the Rathiyatra every year. We know he stayed there in Jagannath Puri for 18 years and every year he would take part in Rathiyatra 
and all the devotees would come from Bengal to be with Lord Chaitanya at that time. They would all take part in the kirtan. And Chaitanya Charitamrita is described in detail how Lord Chaitanya organized the party, the Tankirtan. There was so much nice. There were four kirtan parties in the front, there was one kirtan party on the left side, one party on the right side and one kirtan party at the back of the chariot of Jagannath. <laughs> And Lord Chaitanya organized who's in what party. The different in each party there would be somebody who was the lead singer, and then there would be somebody who's a dancer. In one party, Lord Nityananda would be the main dancer and Srivas Thakur would be leading the kirtan and then there would be four, four, four or five other devotees responding to the chanting. And in another party there would be Swarup Damodar singing and there would be Advaita Acharya dancing and there would be two Madanga players in each and every Kirtan party. So there was like 14 Madanga, 14 Madangas being played because seven parties of Sankirtan, each party had two Madanga players, so 14 Madangas, very heavy Kirtan. And Lord Chaitanya would exhibit his wonderful pastimes. He would expand himself. Just like Krishna in Rasa Leela, he would dance with each of the gopis and every gopi thought they're dancing with Krishna. In the same way, each of the Sankirtan parties, they thought Lord Chaitanya is dancing in our Kirtan party. Some of the kirtan parties would come from the different villages of Bengal, like there would be a party from Shantipur, There'd be another party from Sri Kanda, in different places. They would each send their kirtan parties to take part in Rathiyatra. Lord Chaitanya, of course, would be taking part in all the kirtans. At one point, he would gather all the devotees and he would start to dance himself, he would be the main dancer and he'd jump very high in the air and crash in the ground. Of course, the chariots in Rathiyatra in Jagannath Puri, chariots are very big. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, Krishna does Kaviraj says, he said that they're like as big as Mount Meru, just as Mount Meru is huge, you know, so the chariots in Jagannath Puri are so huge. So, 
জয়তনো চৈতামৃতে বর্ণিত আছে যে জগন্নাথ পুরীর যে রথযাত্রা রথগুলো হতো সেই রথগুলো বিশাল আকারে তিনি বলছেন যেমন মেরু পর্বত সেই মেরু পর্বত যত উঁচু পর্বত সেরকম উঁচু পর্বতের মতো রথ তৈরি হতো And Prabhupada in one purport in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, he talks about the Rathiyatra in London, how the chariot was so big that it was challenging. There's a big statue called Nelson's Column. It's very big, very prominent in the center of London. And, and they said, in the newspapers that had come out, our Rathiyatra chariot was challenging the position of Nelson's Column because our chariot was so big. এবং প্রভুপাদ কীর্তন চৈতামৃতের একটি তাৎপর্য উল্লেখ করছেন কিরকম ভাবে লন্ডনে যে রথযাত্রা হয়েছিল ইস্পানের সেইখানে যে রথ তৈরি হয়েছিল সেটা কত বড় ছিল এই যে খবরের কাগজে শিরোনামে চলে এসেছিল যে জগন্নাথ দেবের রথ ওখানে একটা বিশেষ যে মূর্তি আছে নেলসনের কলম সেটাকেও যেন একটা প্রতিযোগিতার মধ্যে ফেলে দিয়েছে When we had that Rathi Atra actually, Prabhupada was surprised. that we'd spent so much money, we made it very opulent, because usually we have no money, you always we were very poor. But Prabhupada said, wow, you, you made it very opulent this year, where did you get the money from? So they said, there was this one devotee who was organizing the Rathiyatra, he got an inheritance, he got some money from his family, and he spent it all on the Rathiyatra. And Prabhupada said, oh, very good, money well spent. <laughs> তো প্রভুপাদ যখন ওই রথযাত্রায় উপস্থিত ছিলেন প্রভুপাদ দেখে সত্যি খুব আনন্দিত হয়েছিলেন যে রথযাত্রা খুব সুন্দরভাবে জাঁকজমকভাবে ঐশ্বর্য পালিত হয়েছিল তো প্রভুপাদ এক তখন ভক্তদের জিজ্ঞেস করলেন যে তোমাদের তো এত ধন সম্পদ নেই তাহলে তোমরা এত টাকা করে রথযাত্রার জন্য খরচ করবে তখন ভক্তরা প্রভুপাদকে বললেন যে আমাদের আসলে পয়সা তো সত্যি খুব কম কিন্তু একজন মন্দিরের ভক্ত তিনি তার পরিবার থেকে কিছু অর্থ পেয়েছিলেন সেই <laughs> তো সেই জন্য আমরা জানতে পারছি যে প্রভুপাদের কাছ থেকে শিক্ষা পাচ্ছি যে যদি আমাদের কখনো কোনো অর্থ আসে তাহলে আমরা সেই অর্থটা কিভাবে সদর ব্যবহার করতে পারি হয় আমরা মন্দির বা মন্দিরে নির্মাণে দিতে পারি আর তা না হলে একটা সুন্দর মহোৎসব করে এই মর্ত্য যদি খরচ করি তাহলে সেটা সেই অর্থের প্রকৃত সদুপযোগ হবে জাস্ট লাইক উই নো জাস্ট নাও ইস প্যান্ডেমিক দ্যার ইজ আ ভেরি ব্যাড ইকোনমিক সিচুয়েশন অল ওভার দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড There's no business anywhere, everybody's struggling financially, but still somehow or other the devotees are managing to put on Rathiyatra. And we see even in Jagannath Puri, although the government wouldn't allow any people to come, but still they did the Rathiyatra festival. <laughs> কষ্ট অর্থ ঠিকভাবে পাওয়া যাচ্ছে না কিন্তু তা সত্ত্বেও জগন্নাথ পুরীতে আমরা দেখেছি যে ভগবান জগন্নাথের রথযাত্রা কত সুন্দরভাবে এবং কত জাঁকজমকভাবে পালিত হয়েছে so the the covid the, the virus is there it's causing a lot of problem even people are dying but still lord jagannath rath yatra is going on the chariots don't stop rolling so jodio ei এই মহামারীর জন্য অনেকের মৃত্যু হচ্ছে এবং অনেক অর্থ কষ্ট হচ্ছে কিন্তু জগন্নাথের রথকে কেউ আটকাতে পারছে না জগন্নাথের রথের চাকা ঘুরেই চলেছে এবং সেটা খুব সুন্দরভাবে চলছে ইন প্রপস টাইম देयर वाज सम डाउट अबाउट आवर हरि कृष्ण मूवमेंट पीपल वर सीइंग दैट दिस हरि कृष्ण पीपल दे आर ऑल फ्रॉम अमेरिका एंड सम पीपल वर सीइंग वी थिंक दे आर सीआईए एजेंट्स वी थिंक दे आर एजेंट्स फ्रॉम द अमेरिकन गवर्नमेंट कम टू स्पाई ऑन इंडिया যখন প্রভুপাদ জীবিত ছিলেন তখন এরকম কিছু সন্দেহ হয়েছিল যে এই যে হরে কৃষ্ণ ভক্ত যারা তারা হয়তো আমেরিকান যে গুপ্তচর সংস্থা সিআইএ তাদের লোক এবং তারা এই ভাবে এই হরে কৃষ্ণ আন্দোলনের মাধ্যমে ভারতবর্ষে এবং অন্যান্য দেশে গিয়ে তারা গুপ্তচর বৃদ্ধি করছেন 
And there was even people saying that these Hare Krishna people, they've got political ambitions, they want to take over the country. They're thinking like that. And Prabhupada said, yes, they're right. We're going to conquer the world by Rati Atra. Yeah. So powerful, so merciful, so magnificent. Nobody can conquer him. Everyone is his servant. So when they had festival in New York, they had a big festival on Fifth Avenue, the main street, Prabhupada called Fifth Avenue, the main, biggest street, main, most important street in the world. So they, somehow the, in Prabhupada's time, 1976, they were able to put on Rati Atra there and had a very nice Rati Atra festival. Prabhupada was very pleased and he was very surprised that, you know, it's very good, you got permission to do this. How did you manage it? Because at that time, the American, America was in a lot of unrest and the government had banned all protests, all marching, no demonstrations, no marching, no public parades. So it was very unusual that they were able to get permission to do Rathiyantra at that time. So Prabhupada said, how did you do it? And then the devotee said, well, Prabhupada, when they asked me about the festival, I just told them, I said, we only have three hand pool cards. So hand pool cards, you know, a hand pool card, but we think about, you would think something very small, like maybe a wheelbarrow or something, you know, we don't think it's anything very big. So, they had no idea what we were actually planning to do. So when they heard three hand pool cards, they said, oh, okay, no problem, and they stamped the papers to give permission. And of course they had they built big chariots and they took hundreds of people to pull each chariot. <laughs> and when they had the parade, Prabhupada organized it, just like Lord Chaitanya organized the Kirtan. Prabhupada organized the parade in Rathiatra and he had all the temple vehicles, all the buses, and he had, there were devotees coming from Radha Damodar party, they had their buses and there were so many other vehicles. So they had a big line of all the vehicles, all the di different vehicles that devotees were using and they all took part in the parade and they brought all the vehicles into the parade along with the chariots. And Prabhupada said, we want to show people how powerful this Krishna Consciousness Movement is. So, 
ব্র্যান্ড ট্যান ছিল সমস্ত নিয়ে এসছে নিয়ে তারা একটা বড় একটা অনুষ্ঠান করেছে এবং প্রভুপাদ চেয়েছেন যে এটা যত বড় করে করবে তত লোকে বুঝতে পারবে যে কৃষ্ণ ভাবনা আন্দোলন সত্যি কত জাঁকজমক কত উৎসব আনন্দময় এবং কত এটা একটি ঐতিহ্যপূর্ণ অনুষ্ঠান just like in some countries they're very proud of their military forces and they have their armies and their all their military people they all march and parade and they pull tanks and guns and everything in the parade and so then we we had our parade our devotee parade with all the chariots and the vehicles for book distribution so we have a निर्देशनाथिति So Ratiyatra is such a an important festival for our Krishna consciousness movement. One reason why it's so important is because it was so dear to Srila Prabhupada. That Srila Prabhupada as a child, he was already doing Ratiyatra. So she jana ei je Ratiyatra eta ki shakti guruttopurno onushthan ebong Prabhupada eta khubi priyo ekti utsob chilo ebong choto bela theke Prabhupada ei Ratiyatra utsob palon kore ashte. And then when he grew up he was always thinking about going to Jagannath Puri when he was a student he would always check the timetable of the train see what time the train is how much it costs and finally when he graduated he finally went to Jagannath Puri and he was able to go there and see every see the the place <laughs> আমেরিকা It was then that Lord Jagannath appeared to the devotees. The devotee had gone to the shop, Indian store and found a doll. and she didn't know what it was and brought it back showed prabhupad and prabhupad said this is jagana the prabhupad offered the basinses and then she he sent her back to the shop to get the other ones and she came back with balaram and subhadra so then prabhupad had devotees carve the deities and they opened the temple in san francisco yeah uh, yeah where panchatha prabhu was giving that description very nicely that just two days back জগন্নাথ So we got the name New Jagannath Puri. So in that San Francisco shore name holo Nabo Jagannath Puri. Karon shekhane Jagannath Dev prothom pashchhatto deshe abirbhut holen ebong shekhane prothom Jagannath Dev rathyatra onushthit hoyeche. And Prabhupada told the devotees about doing Rathyatra and so they organized Rathyatra festival and they, and they even had the Rathyatra day as an, an official holiday there in San Francisco. So এবং 
very wonderful festivals. Of course, now Rathiyatras are going on all over the world. Calcutta also has nice Rathiyatra. But we hear Dhaka is also the biggest Rathiyatra. Bigger than even any Rathiyatra in Iskon. It's the biggest one in Iskon. So I'd like sometime maybe I can get to come there and take part in the Rathiyatra there in Dhaka. Certainly Prabhupada will be very pleased to know that Rathiyatra is going on in so many places, especially in Dhaka. Okay, so we'll stop and ask if there's any questions. So this devotee Anik Talukar Prabhu he wants to ask a question. Morning Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Prabhu Amar ta prashna chilo. Prabhu shuru te lecture shuru te ami shunchi je Krishna jokhon mot ma binda bande thake tini to jokhon tini shayam Krishna abar binda bande thake jokhon tini beriye jan tokhon uni basude. So, Maharaj's question is that you had in the beginning of your talk that mentioned that when Krishna is in Vrindavan, then he is known as Krishna, but when he leaves Vrindavan, he is known by other names like Vasudeva or things. So, if you can a little bit explain about that, how this is possible. And also, you mentioned that Krishna never leaves out of Vrindavan, so how to understand this contradiction? Okay, Krishna and Vrindavan is Shamsundar Krishna. Krishna outside the Vrindavan, then is Vasudev Krishna. Right? The same Krishna, but different mood. Krishna in Vrindavan is Akila Rasamrita Krishna, full of all the rasas. Vrindavan is a place of sweetness. And sweetness, the more there's, the less there's opulence, the more there's sweetness. But Dwarka, you know, Dwarka, just like we call Los Angeles New Dwarka, you know, opulence, you know, there's a lot of money there, a lot of materialism, a lot of materialistic people, materialistic life there, the opulence is very great. And so Dwarka is the mood of, with Aishwarya. There's more distance between Krishna and his devotees. The mood, the mood in Dwarka is Dasharas. Krishna is the king, 
Krishna is the, the ruler, and he's on the throne, and the others are his servants. So there's not so much intimacy. Everyone approaches the Lord with great awe and reverence and great respect. And that's different. That's not there in Vrindavan. The more there is opulence, the less there is sweetness. Just like people who live in the countryside, they can appreciate more the sweetness. But those who live in the cities, they only know the opulence. They don't get the sweetness. So this way Lord Krishna is Vasudev Krishna in Dwarka and Shamsundar Krishna in Vrindavan. Same Krishna but different mood. We often say the people of Bangladesh, they're more happy than the people in Los Angeles. Of course, people in Bangladesh, they're thinking, how is it possible? They do not know. Sometimes we don't realize when we're happy. We don't, we, we, we're thinking, oh, I'm not happy, I'm not happy. We don't realize how fortunate we are sometimes. Okay, is there any other question? Please ask your questions. No more questions. How, ma how many Rathiyatras do you have in Bangladesh every year? Generally, we have around 60 Rathiyatras, but this year we had more, smaller Rathiyatras because we didn't have big Rathiyatras, so we had around 100 Rathiyatra festivals. Oh, really? And you do them all on the same day? Yes, all on the same day. Or you do them on the actual day of Rathiyatra? Yes. So there is one devotee who asks questions. I think he wants to ask something. Okay. Yes, what's the question? So they feel very inspired and <coughs> excited to hear from you and they express their deep gratitude to you and they would request to also hear a little bit of your memories and the interaction with Srila Prabhupada. Well, we remember Srila Prabhupada taking part in Rathiyatra in London and Srila Prabhupada that day he decided he didn't want to sit on the chariot, you know, usually we had Prabhupada's Vyasa san positioned and we'd have them, this, the, it would be on the chariot and the, we'd just have one chariot and the, the Vyasa san would be positioned just be, below the deities and on, but on the chariot. 
But the, one time in Rathiatra in London, Prabhupada said, no, I'm not going to sit on the, the, the Vyasasana, I want to dance, I want to take part in the parade. And Prabhupada was walking all the way, dancing with the devotees in the parade. Prabhupada liked to always inspire and encourage the devotees. So uh, I remember one time the devotee came from America and he saw our temple in London and he thought, this temple, it's not very nice and Prabhupada's room is not very big. And, the, and he wrote to Prabhupada and said, Prabhupada, he said, uh, we want you to stay in the hotel when you come this time. And we said, that room is not very big for you and we'll get you a nice room in the hotel. Next time you come to London, we'll, you stay in the hotel. But Prabhupada, Prabhupada wrote back and said, no, I'm not going to stay in hotel. I don't like hotels. I want to stay in the temple with the devotees. So we all got inspired hearing Prabhupada like that. And then when Prabhupada said at Rathiatra, no, I'm not going to sit on the chariot, I'm, I want to dance, I want to walk in the parade. So we were all really in encouraged, we were all really enthused, we thought, oh, fantastic, you know. And devotees had come from France and they'd come from Holland and they'd come from Germany and they'd come from uh, uh, different places all to take part in Rathiatra. So there was a lot of devotees there. And the, Prabhupada was walking, dancing in the parade and we were all going mad. We were all, it was so ecstatic, you know, Prabhupada dancing with all of us. Prabhupada is like 76 years old, 77, and he's dancing in the parade, you know, with his hands up in the air, moving his hands up in the air, like this, you know, chanting, dancing. And so the devotees were really going wild. They were getting more and more ecstatic. The more Prabhupada would dance, the more the devotees would become ecstatic. And we had the English policemen, you know the English policemen, they're always big and very sober and you know they're not very friendly people and they, they were watching the parade and they were seeing the devotees become so ecstatic and they said, you better tell that old man to sit down, he's making everybody too ecstatic, tell him to sit down. 
তো আর আপনারা জানেন যে লন্ডনের যে পুলিশ কর্মী তারা সত্যি মানে খুব গম্ভীরতার সঙ্গে থাকেন এবং তারা খুব সবসময় মানে বেশি কথা বলেন এবং তো তারা যখন দেখছেন যে ভক্তরা এরকম এত আনন্দ এত নৃত্য কীর্তন করছে এবং সবাই মানে প্রায় আনন্দে মধ্যহারা বা পাগল হয়ে যাচ্ছে তখন তারা ভক্ত বলেন আরে তোমাদের ওই বুড়ো লোকটাকে বলো যে আর বেশি নৃত্য কীর্তন না করে বসতে মানে ফেলে সবাই পাগল হয়ে যাবে এত আনন্দের মধ্যে But the devotees would look at the policeman and say, I can't tell him, I can't tell him. <laughs> no, no devotee would dare to go and tell Prabhupada, sit down. And the policeman wouldn't do it either. The policeman, he was trying to get a devotee to do it, but the policeman wouldn't do it either. So Prabhupada danced the whole way. আর পুলিশম্যান পুলিশ যারা তারাও কেউ গিয়ে সাহস করে প্রভুপাদকে বলতে পারছে না এইভাবে প্রভুপাদ ছাড়া রাস্তা ধরে নৃত্য করে কীর্তন করে সকলকে আনন্দ দিয়ে উৎসাহ দিয়ে রথযাত্রাকে খুব সুন্দর করে তুলেছে Um, there were two Rathiyatras Prabhupada danced. One was in London, the other one was over in uh, Australia, I think it was Melbourne. Usually, when we wanted Prabhupada to come, you wanted to bring Prabhupada to your temple, You tell him, proper, we're having a Rathiyatra festival and we'd like to send you a ticket, you please come. And so Prabhupada would be inspired if he thought, oh, a Rathiyatra festival, you'd like to come, take part in the Rathiyatra. অবশ্যই <laughs> শুরুতে <laughs> <laughs> সেখানে <laughs> And he was like taking care of all the plants and the trees because a lot of trees were there and everything. So he was taking care of all, everything. And Prabhupada would walk around every morning and Prabhupada met him and Prabhupada was speaking to him. So he said, 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 he এবং <laughs> তো তখন একদিন মালি প্রভুপাদকে বললেন যে আমি মিষ্টি খেতে খুব ভালোবাসি আর সেই জন্য আমার যত দাঁত সব পোকায় খেয়ে নিয়েছে সেই জন্য আমার সমস্ত দাঁত নতুন আসমানে নকল দাঁত আসল দাঁত সব খেয়ে নিয়েছে and proper told him he said oh i also like sweets he said but he said i have all my teeth i have no false teeth i have all my own teeth he said i eat milk sweets 
He said, I don't eat the, the sweet type of sweets you eat. He said, I eat milk sweets. So Prabhupada, you know, was very particular about what kind of sweets we cooked and offered for the deities. One time in Los Angeles, they served him some sweets which they'd made in Los Angeles and it was made with chocolate and different things like that. And Prabhupada said, what kind of sweet is this? Prabhupada said, why don't you make the type of sweets I showed you to make? I showed you how to make rasgulla. I showed you how to make sandesh and burfi. Why are you making these things? So Prabhupada was very concerned that we keep the standards which he'd given us, you know. Don't introduce, don't speculate, don't bring in these modern things for serving Krishna. So Maharaj, the devotees in Netrapana, they have nice sweet shop eh, made from big sweets and they would like to offer you when you come to Bangladesh. Oh, very nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> and yeah, I'll look forward to coming. Yes, we are also looking forward that after the pandemic is over, you can come and stay there for a few days and give us your lecture and association, even <coughs> and we will be blessed to offer you nice milk sweets. <laughs> yeah, very good. Thank you so much. So thank you, Maharaj. We'd like to take this opportunity once again to thank you for your wonderful Jagannath Kathamrita and the, today was our the concluding session of this eight day long <coughs> Jagannath Kathamrita Mahasok we had and we are really very blessed and fortunate to have you as our speaker for the concluding session of this eight day festival. We <coughs> express our deep gratitude and our heartfelt thanks that despite your busy schedule, you have given us your one <coughs> valuable time and given us your blessings and given us your association. Thank you very much, Maharaj. All glory to you, all glory to Shri Prabhupada. Jai His Bhakti Vinashra Krishna Maharaj Ki. Yeah. Srila Prabhupada Ki. Yeah. Bangladesh Yatra Ki. Jai. Yeah. Jagannath Swami Ki. Yeah. Gaur Premanandi. Haribo. Haribo.